Hello and welcome to weeknight prayer. As you join us online, I hope you'll say that you're here. Type Amen and thanks be to God and participate in the liturgy and share your prayer concerns that they may be shared in community. We'll have our final midweek Lenten worship service this Wednesday online at 1230. And then we will begin Holy Week with Palm Sunday on Sunday, March 28th, with drive-in worship in the parking lot at 1030 and online worship at 1145. Hi, Donna. Welcome. Hi, Lyle. Hi, Lisa. Margie, good to see you. Alex and Kelly, welcome. Let us begin. Jesus Christ is the light of the world, the light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us, Lord, for it is evening, and the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness and illumine your church. Joyous light of glory of the immortal Father, heavenly, holy, blessed Jesus Christ, we have come to the setting of the sun, and we look to the evening light. We sing to God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, you are worthy of being praised with pure voices forever. O Son of God, O giver of life, the universe proclaims your glory. The Lord be with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who led your people Israel by a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. Enlighten your dark, our darkness by the light of your Christ. May his word be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. For you are merciful and you love your whole creation, and we, your creatures, glorify you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Hi, Ray and Willie. Welcome. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. O Lord, I call to you. Come to me quickly. Hear my voice when I cry to you. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Set a watch before my mouth, O Lord, and guard the door of my lips. Let not my heart incline to any evil thing. Let me not be occupied in wickedness with evildoers. But my eyes are turned to you, Lord God. In you I take refuge. Strip me not of my life. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Let the incense of our repentant prayer ascend before you, O Lord, and let your loving kindness descend upon us, that with purified minds we may sing your praises with the church on earth and the whole heavenly host, and may glorify you forever and ever. Amen. In Mark 1, Jesus says, The kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe in the good news. And in John 8, he says, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. In many and various ways. God spoke to his people of old by the prophets, but now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son. 
In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the Church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and for all who offer here their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all servants of the church and for all people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our public servants, for the government and those who protect us, that they may be upheld and strengthened in every good deed, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who work to bring peace, justice, health, and protection in this and every place, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the faithful who have gone before us and are at rest, let us give thanks to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all the people who await from the Lord great and abundant mercy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. I invite you to add your <clears throat> to share your prayer concerns in the chat and comments that they may be shared in community to say them out loud wherever you are worshiping tonight or to hold them silently in your hearts. We pray for Judy Williams, for the Degree family, We pray for all those living in assisted living, especially Iris and Liz and Ann and William and Jim and Gerald and Tim. Pray for Brenda Pearson and Brian Cook. For Micah, Hunter, Lily, and Ryder Sturgis. For all those who are grieving. For students and teachers and school workers. For John Smithers and all who are battling cancer. For the community of Boulder, Colorado, after the shooting there this afternoon. For all these that we've named, for those who remain in our hearts and on our minds, we pray. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. Rejoicing in the fellowship of all the saints, let us commend ourselves, one another, and the whole world, and our whole life, to Christ our Lord. To you, O Lord. O God, from whom come all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works, give to us, your servants, the peace that the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, and also that we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may live in peace and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Savior who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, 
one God forever. Gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless and preserve you. Amen. Go in peace.